actually the news came down uh, earlier this afternoon that former ace uh, player back in 2001 Jeremy Giambi the youngest brother of Jason Giambi passed away unexpectedly at the age of 47 and uh, when I saw the news it was pretty shocking to me actually when I saw it on ESPN that he had passed away and uh, you know obviously anybody that followed the ace and uh, for any length of time uh, remembers him for one play and one play only as a member of the green and gold and that was of course the non-slide that took place uh, back in uh, 2001 game three of the American League Divisional Series against the New York Yankees I was actually at that game that um, was probably the most riveting and uh, nail-biting and nerve-wracking game that I've ever been to uh, in my entire life if you remember the final score on that game was one to nothing it was a brilliant pitching performance by both uh, Barry Zito on the uh, side of the ace and of course Mike Messina with uh, New York but I remember that that play as though it was yesterday I was sitting on in Mount Davis and uh, Terrence Long I remember his uh, line drive doubled down the right field line and Jeremy Giambi was at first base and ran all all the way around the diamond until uh, you know he got to home plate and we all know, remember, of course, the play by Derek Jeter, one of the most uh, played uh, sequence in Major League Baseball playoff history. But um, yeah, that's obviously the the play that uh, pretty much symbolized or summed Jeremy Giambi's career with the A's, which was only for about one season. If you remember, he was... Uh, traded the following year in 2002 to the Philadelphia Phillies for John Mabry, who turned out to be an excellent addition to the club in 2002, of course. And we, we know the history of that season for the A's and how it played out. But uh, yeah, shocking news for sure. The passing of, uh, of Jeremy Giambi at the age of 47. Um, but he will always be remembered in Ace for Folklore for the uh, non-slide. I still maintain, though, that to this day that he was probably safe. You know, if, if they would have had instant replay like they do now, back in 2001, more than likely uh, they would have overturned the, the, uh, the call and he would have been called safe. But uh, I digress. Uh, nonetheless, it's... Uh, it's a classic, uh, epic play uh, that will always haunt us Ace fans, I guess, and will always uh, be one of the main highlights of Derek Jeter's career. But um, yeah, uh, sad to hear the uh, passing of Jeremy Giambi at the age of 47, and that's basically why I wanted to make this video. Anyway, if you like my videos, as I always say, Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the uh, videos, and uh, share it with your friends and family members. And as always, thank you for the support, and I'll catch you at the next video. Thank you.